All right, a few little things to go over. To it is the Lucas Oil Raceway and Sim Racing Authority in the PC Master Race Series. Welcome in Chris Scanlon in the booth. Hopefully having a great time on this Sunday evening as I'm back on the air. I know we were on earlier for the 500 practice, but this is the first time I've been on the air now since last Wednesday uh, when we had some uh, issues over the weekend. I'll uh, get into that here in just a few minutes as we uh, get you set up for this uh, race. First, let's take a look at the starting lineup. Marcus Richardson, as soon as he grids, will take the pole at 22.277. Kyle Putt's going to start second. Derek Bordeaux in th or third. Mark Newland fourth. And Tyler, uh, David Chuck is going to start fifth. Ducharme sixth. Carrasco Roberts, Gable. Uh, Aaron Davis is going to be your top ten. Pertelli and Philip Bundick, who actually left the room, so not sure if he's going to start this race. Connor Anton, Bobby Chaney, he'll start back there. Matt Simpson's here. And I think Jason Garrett left too, so... We'll see how many trucks we have here when it is all said and done for this race as we uh, get ready for 150 laps around this uh, three-quarter mile, or a little more than three-quarter mile, I believe, here at the Lucas Oil Raceway, formerly known as Indianapolis Raceway Park. So, yeah, basically, long story short, why I haven't been on the air much the last couple days. Yes, I was on, I guess, Saturday, too, for a 24-hour race, but I want to send a shout-out to Andy Moore, who actually broadcasted the whole thing on my channel. Um, I had a big Microsoft crash on Friday night, and uh, I spent all Friday night rebuilding Microsoft onto my computer, uh, getting it downloaded, refreshing it, and then uploading programs back onto my computer. I didn't lose any files, but lost computer uh, programs and stuff, so long story short, here we are, and I still see some adjustments I got to make, but that's totally fine, and I'm happy with that, but uh, definitely has been a long weekend when it comes to building this computer, getting it back going again, so glad to be able to be in here and get this race on the road as they uh, pull off of pit road I'm assuming mark is going to take the outside groove here at this uh, track which uh, features multi-groove multi-banked racetrack uh, that you're going to see a lot of cars running mostly from the middle to the top of the track some trucks might try the bottom but that is not where you want to make passes this time by. You know, pretty good truck season when it comes to points. We'll talk about those point standings here in just a little bit as we just got the Charlotte Motor Speedway last week, which saw uh, Marcus Richardson pull out the win there. So. Should be some fun racing. Pace car is going to pull off 150 laps. Lucas Oil Raceway. That should make this very interesting. So sit back and enjoy it. Pace car is off. Green, green, green. And we are racing. Truck in the wall already in contact everywhere here. Oh, and one truck spinning Austin Roberts. And no caution, but a big checkup. This one in soon contact Bordeaux with some damage to his rear. Ducharme with damage. It was Mark Newland, I believe, who got the one in Austin 96 truck. It knows damage Aaron at 08. are going to take off really quick here as they get around this track really quickly. Oh, going to look low on Newland. Not able to 
will take this fall. As I mentioned, you see every truck pretty much hits the wall, as I said. That is pretty much the fastest way to get around this track. And Ducharme's got it sideways, looking to save Newland sideways. Both men able to save it, but uh, Newland's going to take the horse and do the few spots. For third, here is Derek Bordeaux and Tyler Ducharme. There's Caress on the 13 back here battle. Taylor Swift to AK Justin Gable underneath the Mark Newland. There's the Lord truck of Aaron Davis brought that truck back. He's got nose damage. A lot of trucks with damage already here early in this race. Track. A fun short track to go watch the racing at too. Got the good one here to go watch the truck and nationwide series race here. Where's Jimmy go back? I'm just gonna put it to you like that. Richardson with a seven tenths of a second lead already on Kyle Putz. There's your leaders right there. David shot in a 42 there in third. So as I mentioned with the issues on the computer, tomorrow night will be the time to watch uh, some racing um, where we'll have the Daytona USRC race will attempt for a third time to get that race on the air, and it will be tomorrow before the uh, Sim Racing Authority race at 7.30 as they go racing at Charlotte Motor Speedway tomorrow night as Ducharme's having some issues. Top two, and he's wrecked. He's in turn two in the wall on the front uh, back straightaway. The Denver Broncos truck has hit the wall hard. No caution is out again. back and see what happened. Ducharme, I saw him get out of shape off of two. He's sideways, Bordeaux is the outside, and they make contact, and oh boy, hit the wall hard. But we stay green. But yeah, we'll have the Daytona race live tomorrow night uh, that uh, USRC ran last Tuesday night. We'll get that out of the way. And then tomorrow night, we'll be on board my Car, I'll call it, uh, for the Sim Racing Authority race at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Yes, I'm going to try to run Charlotte again. The Tuesday, we'll have the broadcast for the Talladega JTT Series race from USRC. And then the truck race following that from New Hampshire. And we've got a fun couple days of racing coming up for you. Marcus up in the wall. He scrapes it up a little bit. Marcus putting that blue deuce in the wall a little bit, getting some damage. And Kyle puts, going to edge up on him a little bit. And speaking of Kyle, he has a two-point lead in this point battle behind Bobby Cheney, Ariadne third, Derek Bordeaux, Nick Arrestle, your top five in the point standings entering this race tonight. Here's 
your fourth and fifth place battle. Derek Bordeaux in the four. Nick Caressel, he's got some rear damage on the Sour Patch Kid truck. We ride with the 13. On Bordeaux sideways in the one, he's spinning. And no caution there. Go back and see what happened to Derek. Derek losing the back end, slapping the wall, and it goes spinning. And he oh, who nails that wall. But again, no caution comes out. Bordo doing a great job keeping it down. There's Ducharme, Austin Roberts, there's Matt Simpson, and again, Marcus in the wall. And here comes Putz. so far in this 150 lap race. He's also been in the wall twice and that's gotta be hurting his aerodynamics just a little bit. There's Caressa on four, Justin Gable up to the fifth position. Fifth, Bobby Chaney, he's got right front damage now. And Bobby up to the seventh position. Trevor Bertelli up to eighth. Newland, Bordeaux, and then Aaron Davis, who's got damage. I think every truck out here is damaged. Three of Mark or uh, Matt Simpson. It's good to see him out here on the track again. Here we go for the lead. Not able to do it. As that happens, you see Marcus in the wall again. You know he's probably cussing up a storm in that car. And that is bringing David Shutt back in too. You see Shutt there in a 42 truck. Marcus puts shut. And there's Caresso. He's now got damage to the right front, as you see. Pretty much every truck out here damaged. Actually battle back here for position Bordeaux. The outside, he's going to go by Newland for eighth. Bordeaux to the bottom of Pertelli, so that damage obviously not hampering the four much as he is back on the move again. 
You see Tyler Ducharme driving underneath the 96. He'll take the nine spot away here, maybe. Newland going to fight on the outside. Nope, going to give it to him. And then back here, Austin Roberts in the 12. Inside the 20. And we got some three wide up here. Car in the truck in the wall. Pertelli. Board, uh, and uh, you see Ducharme gets more damage. Saw three wide out of the corner of my eye there. And here's our little drone camera. We like to put the work every once in a while. You see Matt Simpson getting out of the way of the leaders. As we are 33 laps in here at Lucas Oil Raceway on the 150. And a caution free one so far. But that could change with all the wrecks we've seen as Trevor Pertelli hits pit road in that Beaver Buzz number seven. job keeping that truck out front though is pretty much beating up the wall we move back here oh Bordeaux and Tyler come together again Tyler up the track hard saves it call that a slide job a little bit if you want Tyler going to clear Bordeaux. As the 24, Cheney continues on. Justin Gable out here on his own. And a Taylor Swift truck. And everybody's pretty much spread out except these three right here. puts and shut your top three. As I mentioned, Kyle puts his two points behind the point leader, so if he could get a good finish here, he could walk out of Lucas Oil Raceway with the point lead. One truck is spinning, Aaron Davis. Caution is out for the first time in lap 40. The Lord truck has gone spinner Ernie. And it looks like you might have got a little help. Let's see. Uh, it's close. In that angle, you can't tell. However, let's look up at our FRO TV blimp view. Oh, this is a little help. Need a little help for my friends. He got by with a little help by his friends. As the leaders come to pit road. Saw Pitt Road gonna go to puts. Mark is gonna be second, shut third.
Everybody else is getting damage fixed. Look at this. You see our drone cam right here. And let's talk with our leader, Mr. Puts. Or maybe I can. I guess I'll have to do it in chat. Here. Error. That didn't work. Part of the editing with all my stuff I have to do with fixing things. It's the, uh, issue of my computer. Uh, I can't even talk to them through here. This is working out well. I'll do this. It's not rare I do this. We're just under caution. Now I'm not going to be able to go back down there if I do this, however. Let's see if I can do this. Derek's pinning again. I'll put Chris Callen booth. Get a copy. What's going on? Hey, uh, Mr. Leader. Question. Uh, obviously, you've kept your truck pretty clean, but what is... Uh, creating the issue with the trucks tonight of uh, bouncing off the wall a lot. Well, it seems like if you enter too high going down into one and two, there's a couple of really bad bumps up there. And from when I was following Marcus, it looked like the bumps were really upsetting his truck. And that's what was causing him to uh, go high up into the fence a couple times. And, uh, but yeah, so I've been, uh, I figured out enter a little bit lower and it'll stick throughout the corner better and just uh, keep it off the wall. All right, Kyle, well, good luck the rest of the race. And you too, Nick. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Yep, I can't get back up my now. So let's just Channel move this switched. one. As Kyle puts has the lead, you see them rounding up on the back straightaway here as we get ready for another restart. At lap number 45, wrapping up caution number one here at Lucas Oil Raceway. The pace car pulls off. Back to racing now. Puts continuing to lead. You see the battle back there for the sixth spot as Austin Roberts and Caresso battled out. Caresso looking low. Back here, Bobby Cheney and Newland. Marcus getting that damage fix, looking to get a run on the 31. Ducharme is beating up Denver Broncos truck to the inside looking for third not able to do it Just trying to get that run. There's Gable in fifth doing a great job. Austin Roberts with a nice comeback after spinning out earlier. They're in the sixth position. Caressel and Chaney, your top eight. Mark is trying to look underneath. Not able to do it yet. Ducharme looking on the bottom, not able to make the move. He's trying, but not quite yet. Four truck battle here for first through fourth. A four truck battle, fifth through eighth. Trying to keep tabs on both of them for you.
ride with Austin Roberts. You see the damage to his right front. You see Ducharme up there going for third. He has passed David Schutz so and Ducharme on the mission back to the front. Every truck out of here pretty much beaten and battered in here in the first 50 laps of this race. But not because of lack of effort, they are moving their way to the front. As caution is out again for the second time. Looking for it, looking for it. Caution is out again. Let's look for it. Here's what we'll do. The old school secret. When the lights come on, look for the wreck. There's the lead draw. Oh, right there. Nick Russell. We found it. It helps them both work at the same time. Nick Russell's gone around and turned four does a spin around. A little spinner Rooney. Uh. And Russell, nice 360. We'll score that Nate. As the leaders are on pit road again. And Gable going with two tires. He'll win the race on pit road. A little two tire fire. Or did he miss the stall? Charm going to be second. Then puts in Marcus. We are under caution again. And I believe Matt Simpson actually led a lap there. So Matt will get a bonus point and go to pit road. As everybody cycles back around, it will be Justin Gable in the front now. Ducharme, Kyle puts Marcus Richardson, David shot here at lap 59. Again, we'll be on the air tomorrow afternoon about, I would say around 545 Eastern. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we'll go on the air for the uh, Daytona race from the USRC Truck Series, then by Outlaw Motorsports will be on the air for that coming about 5.45 tomorrow, and then following that we'll be in car for the race at Charlotte Motor Speedway for Sim Racing Authority in the Gen 6 Series presented by Llama Dog Racing. Tuesday night, we will go on the air early again for the broadcast of the uh, JTT Series from the United Sim Racing Championship. That race will be on Tuesday coming up at about 5.30 or so on the air for that a race from Talladega and then we'll have the USRC truck race from New Hampshire that evening Wednesday we'll broadcast the Gen 6 series presented by Llama Dog Racing from Sim Racing Authority we'll get that on for you uh, around 6 or so and then uh, following that I'll be in the truck for the or in my uh, yeah in the truck for the Extreme Motorsports race that's uh, Wednesday night now also Wednesday night I should mention the new uh, the change that has happened with Sim Racing Authority, the Saturday Night Special Series, has now moved to Wednesday. Uh, so, yes, I'll be on board my truck in that league, but Sim Racing Authority will be running Wednesday night also, and we'll broadcast that race later on into the week. So, uh, not going to take anything away from that. So we are going to broadcast the uh, Wednesday Night League, Sim Racing Authority, and we'll be on Saturday. So, looking forward to that. A 
race car going to pull off. Gable and Ducharme. No tires, I believe two on Tyler and then the rest with four behind them. Let's see how long they can hold this lead for. Gable gets a good restart. Ducharme does not. Green is out. Say that Justin Gable is tougher to pass than a kidney stone. You see Ducharme in a little bit of a slide job on Gable. That's going to allow him to take the lead. So new leader, Tyler Ducharme in the 08. Marcus is going to sneak by for second. Now puts under Gable. That's going to be for third. Tyler Marcus now puts up the third. One truck hitting the wall back there in the back straight away. Gable in that little free fall now as Austin Roberts looks inside. Mark Newland there also. Newland up against the wall, and now Carrasco going to make a move to the bottom. Nice slide move on his part. Bordeaux going to go with him. Fun racing here. This is what makes this track so much fun is the multi-groups. Starting to put pressure on that 08. Oh, there's contact. And now Tyler scraping it up against the wall. That should give Marcus the lead, but no. Look at that run. His caution is out. And it's for Aaron Davis. Lord has gone around again. And this time looks like on his own. Oh, you see it spin around. Look out, Wall. Oh. Lord, not going to be happy about that. We are just shy of halfway in the third caution at lap 68. On the speedway here at Sim Racing Authority in the PC Master Race Series. As we should see the trucks back on pit road again for tires. Looks like puts and shuts stay out. Everybody else in. I think that's good news. Woohoo! I can go back to my channel now. <laughs> I'm back now. Thank you, whoever did that. And you see the race off the road. I'm so excited. Bronco truck still on pit road. You see Kyle Putz staying out again. David shut Marcus Richardson. So real quickly, I want to send a shout out to uh, the guys who ran that 24-hour race yesterday, the roar before the 24. 
Uh, of course, Sim Racing Authority had two teams in it. Their first team, uh, not so successful, unfortunate deal for them. Their second team in class, I believe, 10th overall, and a good effort by them. Uh, the team we had, the Squirrel Racing Team, unfortunately uh, came a casualty of an engine failure and a few wrecks about 12 hours, uh, 13 hours in, and finished in the 10th position in class uh, in that same race with the Sim Racing Authority guys. And I can announce to you officially that we will be back and running the actual 24 hours of Daytona from iRacing. We will run that coming up uh, two weeks. Uh, this uh, coming up week or two weekends from now, uh, the weekend of 31st and 1st, we're putting together two teams, and we're going to go for it, the actual 24-hour title. We uh, see what we need to do now. We're going to make adjustments and go for it again. So look for two squirrel teams out there on the track uh, this coming uh, in two weeks, I should say, at the 24 hours a day, Tony, including myself, I'll be on board one of the cars, too. So, looking forward to it. I had fun. The two hours stint, I had to run, uh, starting a race at 8 o'clock in the morning. That was, it was sketchy, but fun. I uh, don't think I'll be starting a race again <laughs> in two weeks, but we'll see. But so Kyle Foote's going to be the leader. He stayed out. David Schutz stayed out. He's going to be second. Marcus Richardson, Justin Gable, and Austin Roberts going to be your top five here as we are two laps from halfway in tonight's race at Lucas Oil Raceway. Okay, as far as off, we're back to racing, lap 72. Mark is sliding his way up to the third spot already. Oh, and Caress on the wall. He gets into Tyler a little bit. No harm, no foul. They continue on. See Kyle Butts leading there. Richardson up to second. He's gone by. Tyler Gable going by side by side for fourth. Tyler to hold on to her for a second there. Marcus lost the front end or something there. He had to back out of it. Now shutting Gable up against the wall. We might have to keep track of Lucas Oil Stripes here. We hit halfway. Let's take a look at our race analysis so far. Six lead changes, three cautions for 14 laps. And a uh, pretty active race as you see Ducharme looking underneath David Shot. He'll take third. Ducharme moves to the third spot. Marcus going to go to the bottom for the lead. See if the four tires can get the grip. Sharp leading up against Putz. One truck loose on the bottom back stretch. It's Roberts. He's able to hold on. Richardson back to the front, started on the pole. 
Had some damage to his truck. He still has that damage. And uh, with the four tires on a pit stop, he has worked his way back up as Tyler Ducharme now looks underneath Kyle Putz. And a battle for second. Caresso, there is Gable, Austin Roberts, Derek Bordeaux back there trying to make his way back to the field. He's up to the ninth spot, Aaron Davis. I was actually uh, messed up a little bit, I think. Bordeaux is ahead of Newland now. Yes, yeah, so Bordeaux up to eighth, Newland ninth. And Bobby Chaney now up to tenth as Aaron Davis has fallen back to 11. Chaney not having the best of runs. Houston's up there near the top five. He's back in the tenth position right now. Has the battle on for second. Here we go. Tyler to the bottom. Almost contact. Not able to get it yet. And a slide job. Crossover. Tyler going to get it. Ducharme now going to try to chase Barkas down. He's got most of that right rear damage fixed. He's loose. Shut's loose. Everybody's loose. As we look ahead on the Sim Racing Authority schedule, what races they have coming up. As I mentioned tomorrow night, Charlotte Motor Speedway. 134 laps for that one. And then Wednesday night they'll be racing. I believe it'll be Phoenix coming up here on the 21st. That'll move up to the 21st. So uh, make sure you uh, join them uh, Wednesday for that race. PC Master Ruck, uh, Truck Series wise. There are only four races left after this one. Next uh, Saturday, Sunday night, they'll be at the Michigan Speedway for 90 laps there, and then they'll go to Vegas, Phoenix, and Homestead to finish off the season on February the 15th. So the uh, Sunday night, actually the Sunday of the old new school Daytona 500. We'll lead right into this race. As caution is out, again, Justin Gable's gone around. And he might have had a little help from his friends. Apparently, Austin Roberts might not be a fan of Taylor Swift. Not sure. Oh, Taylor's not going to like that. See if there was contact or not here. No, no con, no, no contact. You see Cheney going to the bottom to miss the wreck. A caution out again for Gable as the leaders are up hit road. As Ducharme going to go tire strategy again and lead it off pit road. Marcus going to be second, shot third, and everybody else much in a group. Which uh, I think I'm going to have no choice but to go talk to a driver and ask him the obvious question. I think we'll ask him this actually in chat too. Let's do it in here, uh, which again I can't.
see if he makes me an admin real quick. Is Bobby going to go back to pit road? Don't think he got my message. So let's do it like this. Austin Roberts, Chris Gallon Booth, get a copy. Well, Austin, you've been uh, either really close to or involved in incidents involving female artists. Um, any cause of that? Well, you know, Gable was slowing me up. Aaron was slowing me up. Got to get him out of the way. I didn't hit Gable, though, so. Well, that's why I clarified the close to or contact with. He got close to Gable, but didn't hit him. Uh, but uh, just just seemed uh, very ironic that uh, someone who is a fan of Katy Perry, like you, uh, has been around the Lord truck, spun, around the Taylor Swift truck, spun. Well, you know, Katy Perry's number one, so. <laughs> well, talk about your race so far. I think you had some issues early in the race, uh, doing pretty well so far. Uh, I'm not very good here, so I'm just trying to hold a line and hold everyone up. I try that too sometimes. Good luck. Yeah, tap four. <laughs> Austin Roberts, there he Number 12 as we bring it back up. And we'll go back to racing here with just over 50 laps to go. You see Tyler take off. We're back to racing here. Lucas. And he got really early start. Everybody was almost single file by the time they got there. Oh, and shut scraping all up. See Carasso. Oh, and Chet really gets the wall that time. Lost it a little bit there, too, and he bangs the wall hard. You see him now trying to drive it deep on Carasso. Oh, and there's contact. Oh, everybody saved it. Chet hanging it all out there, trying to keep the track position. Meanwhile, Derek Bordeaux has worked his way to fourth. Oh, and I hear contact back there. Caressel up in the wall. He's trying to save it. Everybody's checking up. Our heads prevail. Driving away from Ducharme after making the pass for the lead. Marcus well on the way to another victory here. If he can stay out front these last 49 couple laps. Marcus going to be looking for win number four on the season. Can't rule him out of the championship yet. He is 88 points down, but if he keeps winning with drops and stuff, you just never know with Marcus Richardson. Derek Bordeaux going to look under. He's shot for third. Not able to get it. You see Kyle Putz. He's back to the fifth position there. Putz kind of struggling after leading earlier. He's got to get it in gear now. Matt Simpson. Simpson up to sixth. He was a lap down earlier. He's got that Georgia Bulldog truck up there. Might be the cleanest truck out there on the track.
And Duchamp getting a little loose there off two. He's able to hold on to it, but Bordeaux putting the pressure on that 42. We go dark cam here. Of course, the dark cam named after the dart, Derek Bordeaux, and uh, sometimes he will drive it in a little deep and use that front bumper. He's close to shot here, and that front bumper could go to use. Almost right on time. Charm trying to chase down Marcus Richards, and Marcus is almost a Louisville. Great, he's going here. Marcus, there is Tyler, and there's that battle for third. It's now becoming a three-truck battle as Kyle Putz enters the picture. Everybody hanging it out. See how sideways everybody is. 40 to go, 110 laps complete, 150 the distance. And Simpson, as I said, he had to clean his truck. He's now put a dent in it. Right side's a little scraped up. He has had a battle with the wall. Look at this back here. Nick Caressa, Aaron Davis, Bobby Cheney, Martin Newland all back here, 6th to 10th, or 7th to 11th. You got Austin Roberts right on the edge here also. that has started and that is still on track is on the lead lap here. So, uh, no, I'm saying correct. It's Trevor Fratelli is four laps down. Oh, Newland gets in the back of Davis. with a 3.4 second lead over to Charm. We're getting these trucks off to Michigan next Sunday. Not quite sure yet if we're uh, going to be able to broadcast that one live. I think I might have something going on that evening. I yet to confirm. But we will keep you up to date with that as you see Justin Gable going to lap down. Taylor Swift truck well off the pace after uh, hitting pretty hard on the front straightaway. Appreciate all those who are watching. If you're a new viewer, make sure you hit that follow button down below. We uh, broadcast races almost every night. You'll see us on the air. Some live, some not so live, and this one's live. Here's 
Marcus, there's Ducharme, and then there's that battle, third to fifth. And back here, they've spread out a little bit. Bobby Cheney has gotten around. Uh, Aaron Davis, and then Davis is sitting there in the 10th position. Newland is falling back a little bit, too. I see Simpson scraping up that wall a little bit more. Now Cheney looking to approach on him and take that sixth, make that seventh position away as Caresso's up to sixth. There is Nick. And then the second, now third, fourth, and fifth place battle here. Marcus Richardson's in the central time zone right now. Everybody else right here in this battle. Shot for third time to get it. 30 laps to go. Well, it's been a pretty entertaining race. As one truck in the wall, Ducharme. And Ducharme spinning off Bordeaux and is over. That'll bring the caution out. Let's see what happens here. Sean gets in the wall. And he just gets loose and Bordeaux gets into him. And up and over they go. And Bordeaux would smoke. Uh, maybe not smoke coming off that truck. So everybody's going to be okay, it looks like. Ducharme's going to zip a roll over and keep going. And the leaders to pit road. Crucial pit stops happening here right here. Mark is going to win the race easily off pit road. Put's going to be second. Race for third. Shot going to get it. Look at Austin Roberts sneak out fourth. Trucks coming back to pit road to get the damage fixed on it. As we have some 25 laps to go. Bertelli staying out and get another uh, lap back. Marcus puts David Shunt, Austin Robertson, Aaron Davis, the Lord and uh, 12 trucker back together again. So this ought to be interesting. Going to be your top five. Bordeaux going to be in six. Matt Simpson, seventh. Ducharme in eighth. Newland, ninth. Cheney, tenth. Now this could be interesting. Um, what could happen here in these last 25 laps?
he, he got a sidewinder down the 08. He's not in the best of shape. Here we go. Going to go back racing. 23 laps to go. Let's see what Marcus takes off. And back to green. As Ducharme's up against the wall. Away now, having all types of issues. Looks like he's drifting away from driving that truck. But he's really not. Austin Roberts up to fourth, looking for third. He said earlier, I ain't too good at this track, but he's doing his best. Cheney going to slide past Simpson. As caution's out again. And it's for Tyler. See what happens. He's trying to keep that truck straight, and that thing just comes right around. So I believe that's the seventh caution of the night here at the Lucas Oil Raceway. And Ducharme having even more issues. He has pulled a chance crumb on the pit road, boys. Oh. We'll just put this one as a bad race for Tyler. Again, next time we'll be on the air tomorrow afternoon around 5.45 or so. We'll be on for the USRC Truck Series presented by Outlaw Motorsports. We will be at the Daytona International Speedway Circa 07 for their race from last Tuesday night. And then Tuesday night uh, we'll go on the air for the B car. The JTT Series will be Tuesday before the truck race. And then Sim Racing Authority tomorrow night will be at Charlotte Motor Speedway for their race. We'll be on board uh, my truck, but we won't broadcast it because I'll broadcast the race later on in the week. Likely once. We'll go back to racing here at 16 laps to go. These cars off. Back to racing.
Shot getting a lot of shape. Cheney going to dive to the bottom. For fourth is Tyler still trying to control that sidewinder. And Tyler spinning again. Caution is out. And he is all that four down. And caution with 15 to go. If anyone dives to pit road here. Looks like Newland. That's about it. Hope I can see what happened to the 08. Happens on the front stretch. His trunk on beating and battered. Good effort from Tyler to trying to finish this thing but unfortunately the truck hard to handle like that that thing just swings right around We should go back to racing at about 10 laps to go, which should make this very interesting. You see Newland and Pertelli going down pit road. Newland just uh, topping it off, Pertelli getting some more tires and fuel as he got another wave around. Should remind you about the old new school Daytona 500. It is coming up on the 15th, just a little less than a month away as we get ready for that uh, race. We had another practice session earlier today. We'll have the qualifying races to set the 43 trucks or cars that will start it. That'll be on the first and then we'll come back on uh, February 7th that Saturday with the twin 125s as we do that race to set the field for the actual Daytona 500 that'll come up on the 15th, so it should be a lot of fun. Go pace car gonna bring him off. Marcus Bordeaux, your top two now. Derek with a good comeback run. Kyle puts a third. David Shutt and Bobby Cheney, your top five. Ten to go. We're green. Make that nine now. sideways back there he saved it You 
You see shot underneath, uh, getting passed by Putz. So Kyle up to the third position, six to go for Marcus. Win number five, just around the corner for him. Uh, make that win number four on the season. And he'll add to his sim racing authority total of uh, career wins. laps to go in the battles fierce for second puts trying to hold off shud who bordeaux's trying to hang, hold off of puts three to go Caution now in this race. Austin Roberts up there in the fifth position now. Having a great run. Cheney and Caruso going to battle it out for sixth. All this behind the Blue Deuce. White flag is out. Final lap here. Lucas Oil Raceway. shut but it's all gonna be behind Marcus Richardson he's gonna add to his career win total at Sim Racing Authority it's gonna be his fourth truck season win and Marcus Richardson wins at Lucas Oil Raceway as Bordeaux turns it sideways and almost loses second he's gonna get second puts third shut and Austin Roberts your top five And a pretty entertaining race as we see the analysis. 14 lead changes, seven cautions for 32 laps when it's all said and done. Richardson, your winner by 1.6 seconds over Bordeaux. Puts shut. And Roberts, your top five. Cheney getting six. Caruso, seventh. Newland, Portelli, Simpson. Aaron Davis, 11th. Justin Gable, 12th. Tyler Ducharme going to finish in the uh, 13th position. The rest of the guys, I don't believe, started. Well, actually, Connor Anton did because it looks like he ran four laps. Let's uh, go talk to our winning drivers. Starting with third place, Kyle Putz. Ready out. Was moved to your channel. Kyle Putz, Chris Gatlin, with get a copy. Ten four. Kyle, third place run for you. I was a little worried there about mid run. Uh, I was wondering, I'm like, wow, he's kind of struggling after running up there towards the top, but still come back to a third place finish. Yeah, I, uh, in the middle of the race, I had gotten, uh, like when you had just talked to me, I beat Marcus off the pit road, and I don't know, I kind of lost my marks because I was using him to be able to judge where I was on the uh, track and whatnot, but um, he passed me clean, and it was fun racing with him there, and then I figured the only way that I could probably beat him is on strategy, and so in the middle of the race there, I stayed out on uh, no tires and saw if that would have worked, and um I learned the hard way that it didn't drop me back to like fifth or whatever and um, came back down. We got the next caution. I figured I might as well just throw. Um, I was going to go two tires. I was going to do whatever Marcus was going to do with that late uh, caution, but he took four, so I stayed with four just to stick with him. But um, if I could go back and change it, I definitely would have taken two with the uh, how many cautions we had there within the last 25 laps. But, um, yeah, other than that, it was – it was a lot of fun. I uh, definitely gave Derek a run for his money there the last uh, five, ten laps. I was hoping to get him on the outside, but I just couldn't get anything to stick. Yeah, it looked like you guys had a good run there, holding off shot too, uh, but uh, still a good run. Send a shout out whoever you'd like to. 
Uh, I just wanted to uh, quick send a shout out to uh, you for broadcasting this. Uh, some race authority for everything they do. Um, big shout out to all the guys that are in the uh, row before the uh, 24 hour race today. And uh, yesterday with, uh, there was like Femi, Gable, um, Connor Anton, Jake Nichols. Um, I know we had a couple other guys in the car. Um, but other than that, just uh, Brian Blackford Racing for everything they've done. They gave me a good truck tonight and came home third, led a couple laps. Good points day. Right, well, nice job, Kyle. Congratulations on your second place finish. Third place. Third, that's right. I was going to talk to second. I wish. <laughs> Good try. So close. <laughs> so we'll bring in Derek Wardo now. Derek, a second place finish for you, and you pretty much went through it all, uh, having the spin out there early in the race and and battling with people, and you battled back to a second place run. Yeah, it was a tough, uh, tough race uh, for sure. It uh, probably this is my worst track in our racing. Uh, I thought I would play the race like a little bit uh, conservative, but uh, I didn't. Well, I did, but I soul spun and it cost me to go to the back and I took it like carefully to, through there and then uh, some reason I ended up in the top five and uh, battled up with Shut and Putts, but uh, Tyler was there, so I don't know what happened. I still need to go look at the replay if we, I came up or came down, but uh, I'm sorry if I came up. Otherwise, uh, that uh, pulled me back again in the back, and I somehow managed my way uh, up there again. And you got yourself a, a pretty solid finish uh, when it was all uh, said and done. You answered my other question about uh, the incident there with uh, Tyler. Uh, but you know what? Uh, it is what it is. We move on. But uh, still a, a great race there between uh, you and and uh, puts and uh, shot at the end. Did you uh, feel like you could... Did you feel like a few more laps you might have lost to, to puts, or do you feel like you could have held them off? I don't know. I may, it all depends if I hit the wall or not. I got I go too hard. I probably, well, if putts would have bumped and run me, I would have probably went in the wall, and he probably passed me, but he didn't. So I don't know. If he would have bumped and run me, I couldn't have held him up. But if I, if he wouldn't, I could have held them up because it's so hard to pass at this track it's it's like <laughs> unbelievable like undoable almost nice well nice job send a shout out whoever you'd like to uh, shout out to uh, SRA for putting in this great league and a great group of drivers and you for broadcasting it live not, uh, not a problem well uh, good job finish the second we'll uh, see you coming up tomorrow yeah thank you we do finishing there in second. We'll go get our winner User who's in victory lane. Your channel. User was moved to your As channel. we got the wrong guy, bring Mark Newland down here. Hi, Mark. Good to see you. User Back was down moved here. out of your channel. Oh, wait, no, I grabbed the right guy. What the hell? User was moved okay, you to are your Marcus. Channel. What the hell's going on? Okay, anyways, I had the icon on Mark. Hi, Marcus. Congratulations on your win. Hello. Thanks. Uh, pretty dominant race, but uh, not without your own issues. You knocked down the wall pretty early in that race. Uh, talk about uh, the battle with puts there and uh, all the guys trying those two tires and no tires on you. Yeah, it was, um, I'm not a big fan of this track at all, but I, I don't really know how to drive turn one, but Tyler got in front of me, and I saw he was basically going in the corner straight. So I tried that, and it worked. So I just kept doing that the rest of the race. And, uh, I guess it ended up giving me the win, I guess. Fourth win in six starts. Uh, I know that's going to kind of make you happy. I know you'd rather go six or six, but still four of six isn't bad. That's not bad at all. I uh, I came into this race pretty determined, so uh, anything short of a win, I'd have been pretty annoyed, but it worked out. Well, nice job there. I know uh, points-wise you're probably thinking, okay, I don't have a chance since you took that little break, which was fine, but still uh, a good chance to get in the top ten. You're only about four points there. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not even racing for points. I'm just racing for the win because I don't know how far I can go considering drops and everything. I don't know where everybody is. So uh, just trying to run as far up as I can every week, which is the goal every week. Nice. So shout-out as always. Go ahead. 
Uh, well, I got a lot of shout outs this race. First, I got to shout out you for winning the race, and then shout out, well, not running the race, but <laughs> broadcasting the race. <laughs> I was out there. And you then, couldn't see me. <laughs> shout out to everybody who ran the 24 hour race last night. I was uh, a pussy and didn't want to do it, and I had other stuff to do. So, um, shout out to everybody who actually finished, and then it sucks the first team didn't get the run because Tyler wrecked within half an hour. And, uh, Shout out to Tyler also for uh, firing me up for this race and uh, made me focus in and uh, get up on the wheel and beat his ass tonight. And uh, also shout out to him for a good race. He ran a really good race tonight, it looked like, and uh, got a really sick finish. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for Putts, Shut, and Bordeaux for racing me clean there at the end. And everybody at SRA, it was fun. Yeah, I should ask, uh, lastly, before I let you go, uh, if you're looking for a team to race for, I can let you, uh, we can talk here in a little bit, but nice job on your win. A uh, team to race for, for what? Uh, uh, for the 24 hours. Oh, probably not. I don't like those cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, because the SRA guys are looking for somebody. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, nice job, Marcus. Thanks, Sue. So, Marcus Richardson, your winner. The points are updated. Kyle puts your point leader uh, by 10 over Bobby Cheney after tonight. Gable going to be third. Shut and Zelensky, your top five. Carusso Northrop, Roberts, Ducharme, Pertelli, your top 10. As I mentioned, Marcus there, one point out in 11th. So, all right, it's going to close us down for the evening. I'm going to keep working on the stream. Again, this thing back up to date. I mean, it's almost there. But uh, appreciate all the viewers who have uh, come in to uh, watch this evening. Uh, next time we'll be on the air tomorrow about 545 for the Daytona truck race from USRC. We're going to try it for a third time to get it on the air, so make sure you do stick around for that tomorrow about 5.45. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. Enjoy your first day at work on Monday, and uh, we'll see you back here uh, tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for watching. For instance, on TV, go to simracingauthority.com to be a part of their league. See ya.